Are you ready to finally tackle joint pain once and for all by getting fitter? Go ahead and follow me on this next exercise video. Full body, all you need is two dumbbells. Let's go. What I need is a set of dumbbells lighter to moderate weight you can always have a couple next to you if you want to as well if something does get to be too much you can always drop them to the side and just do body weight as well so there's lots of options if you don't have dumbbells at home you can use soup cans you can use water bottles you can use whatever you can find that you have two of and that are going to add just a little bit of weight to your exercise so now this is going to be a full body workout. So we're gonna do both upper body and lower body and we're gonna throw in some balance too. Make sure that you have appropriate space around you and that if you need something stable to hang on to right next to you, a wall, a stair rail, whatever it may be, especially if you're not as confident in your balance. So just for safety, better to be safe than sorry. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started and what I want you to do while we warm up is just set your weights off to the side so they're not going to be in the way and you're not going to trip on them or anything okay so first what we're going to do is i just want you to step forward and backwards we're just going to do a couple of quick warm-up movements just to get your body loosened up a little bit and then we'll go ahead and get started into the workout so stepping forward and backwards. And then now I want you to step side to side. So all you're doing is just going side to side. Alrighty, and now you're just gonna alternate marching, just one leg up at a time. Just come up as high as you can. Get those legs stretched out. And then you're gonna bring your knees out to the side now. So you're gonna kinda open up your hip by just bringing your knee, trying to point it as far as you can out without turning your body to do so. So just kind of bring it up on a diagonal, stretch out those inner thighs a little bit. And now if you need something to hang on to, go ahead and grab it. But I just want you to raise up and down, raise up on your toes, come back and lift your toes off of the ground. Lift your toes off and up this can be a little tough on the balance though so if you need to just steady yourself for this one that is okay all righty now you're going to take those arms and you're just going to open reach forward and squeeze backwards squeeze those shoulder blades together in the back reaching forward and squeezing back and now i want you to take your right arm and you're going to reach across your body make your arm as long as it can go and then you're going to pull back kind of like a lawnmower motion reach forward and across and pull back reach forward pull back you're still squeezing your shoulder blade in the back but we're just going one arm at a time and we're going to just do two more here and then we're going to switch to the other side last one and now you're going to use that left arm same thing you're going to reach across make your arm nice and long pull back reach across pull back you're turning your chest with your arm so you're not just reaching across because that's not a great position for your shoulder to be in. Reach across and pull back. We have four more. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Now I just want you to swing your arms forward and back, but I want your thumbs pointed up towards the ceiling or the sky, wherever you're at forward and back 
just come back as far as you can comfortably and lift up as far as you can comfortably just to warm up so no need to irritate those joints now and now you're just going to take your arms and you're going to just open straight up just kind of like a set of wings open straight up palms are pointing down towards the floor All right, so now just take one arm circle back, the other arm circle back. Keep taking those arms back and now we're gonna take those arms forward. One arm forward, making as big of a circle as you can. Forward, big circle. Okay, so now this is going to be the deal for the workout. We are going to do three exercises for a minute each for four rounds. So that's going to be about 12 minutes total. What I want you to do now is I'm going to go through these three exercises with you. And I want you to practice a few repetitions with me so that you know exactly how to do the exercise. And so that way you can get a feel if your weights are going to be too heavy. Since we are going for about a full minute, the reps are going to be a little bit higher. So if you need to, just rest at any time, especially if your weights are a little bit heavier. So go ahead and grab your weights and we're going to get started with going through some of the movements. Okay, so for the first movement, you're going to grab your weights and you're going to have them up at your shoulders. Now, half of the movement is going to be sitting your hips back and squeezing forward. So I want you just to do about five of those. Sitting your hips back and squeezing forward. It's not a squat, so we're not bending the knees. You're just sitting your hips back, almost like you're reaching back for a wall. Reach back for that wall and then stand up. Or if you're going to shut a car door with your bottom, a lot of the times we do that movement. So just doing a few of those. Then what you're going to do with the weights is you're going to bring your hips back and you're going to squeeze up. Squeeze up. Squeeze up. So as you stand up, you're using your hips to help you take those weights overhead. So sit back, squeeze up. So I just want you to do about five of those so you get, the, you get the rhythm. That's the first movement. Now, the second movement, I actually want you to drop one of those weights. You're going to hang on to this weight close to your chest. And you're going to step back, come up. Step back, come up. It's like a small lunge. Step back, come up. Step back, come up. And then we're going to switch at 30 seconds. So you're going to do the same thing, but just switching your legs. Now, if the weight feels too heavy, I want you to do about five reps on each. If that weight just feels too much, or for some reason you start to have problems or tightness in your low back, go ahead and just drop the both weights. And you can do this one definitely just with body weight as well. If you're not confident in your balance, you can hang on to something for that as well. Now for the third exercise, you're going to grab that weight and you're going to put one foot just a little bit in front of the other one. And what we're going to do, first get comfortable in this position. So I want you to try putting one foot in front of the other and just try to stand there without using the weight. 
If you feel comfortable in 10 seconds, then you're going to grab your weight and you're going to pass it from one arm to the next. This is just going to throw off your balance a little bit. At 30 seconds, we're going to switch to the other side. So you're going to put the other foot in front and you're going to pass that dumbbell back and forth. So we're doing those three exercises. So make sure you know, I'm going to talk you through the exercises still, but make sure that you have the appropriate weight. You have the space. If you're not confident in your balance, go ahead and make sure you're near a wall or make sure you're near a stair rail or something stable that if you needed to, you can hang on to it. Okay. So first we're going to start off with the sitting your hips back and pushing overhead. So go ahead and grab your weights. And I will talk you through the timer. Okay, so we're gonna go for about one minute. Like I said, rest as long as you need to. Likely you may not be able to go the entire time, especially with this first exercise, and that is totally fine. Just bring the weights down, shake it out, and go back into it. So we're doing four rounds of this. We're gonna take roughly about 15 seconds in between exercises so you can get ready and just take a short rest. Okay, so we are gonna get started. So go ahead and grab your weights and put them right at your shoulders and we're gonna go for one minute. Ready? Here we go. Sitting those hips back, squeezing your hips and pushing overhead. Small bend in the knees. Just a small movement in the hips as well, sitting back squeezing forward awesome job if you need to go ahead and just shake it out and then keep going we have 15 seconds 15 seconds so keep it going and stop all right so that next one you're gonna stand on one leg we're gonna start on the right leg so you're gonna stand on that right leg step back with that left bring that left leg up and here we go step back squeeze forward You can also have that weight just hanging down on your left side right now. So that way it frees up your right hand for some balance. We're gonna switch at about 30 seconds and go to the other side. You should feel this primarily in the leg that you're standing on. And switch. Awesome job. We just have 10 seconds left on this side. And stop. Okay, now we're going to that third exercise. So go ahead and keep that one dumbbell. One foot in front of the other, doesn't matter which one you start with because you're just gonna switch at 30 seconds. If you have problems with this position of holding one foot in front of the other, take your front foot out a little bit wider and then you could do the same thing. But we want it to feel somewhat challenging for you. But I don't want you to be losing your balance all the time. All right, ready? Here we go, 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other side. You're just passing that dumbbell back and forth. Try not to do small passes like this. I want you to try to come all the way over 
it's going to make it a little bit harder. If you just do these small passes, you're not really throwing off your balance as much. This is meant to challenge you. And switch other side, other foot in front of the other. You might notice that one side, it might be a little bit harder than the other. And that's okay. Usually one foot's a little bit better at your balance than the other. Five seconds, three, two, and one. That's round one. We have three more. So grab those weights and we're going to stick your hips back and push those weights overhead. Like I said, if the weights start to feel too heavy, just take a rest or grab something lighter. Grab those soup cans, grab those water bottles, or you can just do body weight. Bend, push, bend, push. Okay, so just listen to your body, and if you start to get really tired, just move to body weight or a lower, a lower weight. Ready? One minute starting. Here we go. Stick your hips back. Squeeze up. So really squeeze your hips to push those weights overhead. It is one movement, so it's not just squeeze your hips and then press overhead. It's you're gonna squeeze and press at the same time so you can get a little bit of momentum going. Bend those knees slightly, stick your hips back. Rest it out if you need to. And we have 10 seconds. And stop. Drop one of those weights. You're going to stand on that right leg. Have the weight either up at your chest or in your left hand. Whatever feels more comfortable to you. I'm going to keep it down in the left hand. Ready? One minute. Here we go. Step back. Come up. One. Two. Three. We're nice and controlled. So take your time. Try not to do this. It's not for speed. This challenges your balance a little bit. And also is working that hip that you're standing on. Five seconds here and then we're going to switch. Three, two, and switch. Weight now goes in your right hand or you can keep it at your chest. Step back, squeeze up with that right leg. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Keep that weight. We're gonna put one foot right in front of the other. And 60 seconds starts now. Pass that weight back and forth. Once you start to get a little bit fatigued, balance starts to wobble a little bit. So I just want you to stay in control, pass it as slow and controlled as you can. And we have 10 seconds here and then we're going to switch sides. Three, two, and switch other foot in front and once you're ready go ahead and start passing that other side again widen your feet out if you need to to find that stability especially as you start to get more fatigued we have 15 seconds three 
three, two, and one. Go ahead and pick up that other weight and we're gonna go ahead and go right into that next one. Ready? Here we go, sit those hips back, squeeze up. Awesome job. Thirty more seconds. Squeeze those hips. Keep going. Ten more seconds. And stop. Set one of those weights down. Hang on to it in your left hand. Stand on that right leg. Ready? Here we go. Step back with that left. Come up. Step back, bring that knee up. Ten more seconds here and then we're going to switch to that other side. And switch. Switch that weight if it's down in your hand. Stand on that left leg. Step back and forward. The knee that you're standing on is just slightly bent. Try to straighten it at the top when you bring your knee up. 15 seconds. Straighten that knee that you're standing on. Two. And one, keep that weight. Go ahead and put one foot right in front of the other. As soon as you're ready, we're gonna start passing back and forth. Still try to take your weight hip to hip. Don't try to get smaller with your dumbbell. Let's switch sides to other foot's in front. Last 30 seconds. Passing, stay in control. Okay, now we have one more round. So we're gonna go back to those Bending at the hips to overhead for one last round. So bring those weights up. Ready? Here we go. Sit back, squeeze up. One, two, keep going. Squeeze your hips and press up at the same time. Awesome job. Thirty more seconds. Ten to go. Two and one. Set that weight down. Stand on that right leg, weights in the left hand or up at your chest. Ready? Step back. Here we go. Awesome. 
Awesome job, keep it going. Squeeze that leg straight. Five seconds and then we're gonna switch. Three, two, one. Weights in the right hand. As soon as you're ready, step forward and squeeze up. Straighten that leg you're standing on. And 10 more seconds. And stop last time through with this balance exercise. One foot in front of the other. Once you're there, go ahead and start passing. Last time through, make it count. switch other side pass through and 10 seconds three two and one all right, go ahead and set those weights to the side. And now we're just gonna march one foot and then the other. And now we're gonna stand, keep those legs straight, take one out to the side and you're just alternating keeping your leg straight and it's just a small kick try not to bend over too much try to stay upright and we're going to take those same kicks but we're going to go backwards pulling back And now you're just gonna pull those arms back. And now we're gonna take that right arm and go where we started with in the warm up, where you're gonna reach across, make that arm nice and long, pull back like a lawnmower. Make that arm nice and long, pull back. and switch to that left side, make that arm nice and long, pull back. Arm nice and long, pull back. And last one, what I want you to do is just bend at the knees so you're just pulling your heels up and trying to touch your bottom. It's okay if you can't get there, but you're just bending at the knees. And now I want you to stay on that right side. So you're gonna bend that heel up, kick it out, point your toe up. Bend, kick. If you need to pause in the middle, you can. Bend, kick forward, three more. Last one, and now you're gonna switch. So that left side, you're gonna bend it up, kick it forward. If you can, point your toe up to the ceiling. It makes those quad muscles squeeze. 
three, two, and one. Awesome job, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you drink enough water. And there might be some muscle soreness, especially in those arms and in those hips. And that's totally normal. Hopefully, it doesn't cause significant pain. If you want personalized exercise programming just like this, send directly to your email each week that you can follow along at home. Go ahead and send me an email at alyssa at keeptheadventurealive.com or visit my website, keeptheadventurealive.com slash services, www.keeptheadventurealive.com slash services. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up and then make sure you hit that red subscribe button so you can see all the videos that I'm working on. Thanks guys.